Alright. I was really hoping I wasn't going to have to make this video. But I am. Uh, so the patch came out yesterday. The hotfix, as they called it. And to say it changed up the game would be a bit of an understatement. They rebuffed a lot of stats, so stats can roll higher amounts, and they nerfed a couple things, like lantern move speed, which kind of sucks, doesn't really matter as much. I mean, I think the build I was talking about yesterday is still perfectly viable. It's not as good, obviously, because you're still a beer a bit slower. However, I'll probably still be running it just to see if it feels good. I played it a bit yesterday, it still felt fine. So, you know, that's one thing. But the main thing I want to talk about here is obviously the new gear on the markets, which is plus all gear. We're back to having plus plus three all doesn't exist anymore. We do have plus two all and we have things like plus five power, plus five weapon damage. Uh, you see there, plus four magical power. And how exactly it's going to change the game, because to be fair, it will change the game quite a bit. Also, I just saw this thing. This weapon's crazy. But, with that being said, how does it affect fighter is mainly what I'm going to focus on here. Most of the changes don't really matter. The only change that really matters for us is DR got slightly buffed back. So there's no more super low rolls and shields can roll 3% damage reduction. So that is a pretty big change for us. That's more DR that you can get uh, a lot easier However, most of the things, like all the damage increases, like you can roll plus four weapon damage on bows, and you can roll weapon damage on all your other pieces of gear again, doesn't really help fighter. The more damage it's in the meta, the worse it is for fighter. And wizards and warlocks have access to more damage as well, with uh, additional magic damage on everything, true magic damage, higher magical power. Uh, spell books getting uh, able or the ability to roll higher numbers and plus all being back in the meta so those characters all have better stats so overall technically speaking the stat change does help everyone however fighters are one of the classes that benefit from having all stats the least I've been over it in other videos so if you're really curious why just you know go check those out but with that being said I it does like I said it does benefit fighter and the best way is now, fighter, unironically, you could probably push 50 strength, 50 agility with, like, 70, 80% PDR and, like, 30% MR, which sounds really OP, and honestly, it might be. The problem is getting there is actually not easy, because what you need is, hold on, actually, let's see if I can, no, no, I can't pull it up, but what you need is, like, a Curus and Heavy Leather Legs. The thing is, these roll strength base. You can then roll Agi on them and roll plus all. So let's say you have purple ones or green ones or blue ones or whatever that have two or three strength. You roll plus two all. You roll three Agi on them. And then all of a sudden, one piece of gear is giving you like five or six stats. It's effectively plus three all back. Like, or you're getting like, it's giving you like, five, like if you roll, get max roll, it's giving you five strength, five agility for one piece of gear. And then you can get that on this. You could get it on this. And you can get it on this. Pretty much on this. So that's 15 stats. Well, I mean, I guess, you you know, obviously, well, obviously you can't get it on this. You could get, well, in theory you could. It would just be much harder because you'd have to get a three strength roll and a three agi roll. But in theory you could get, it'd be five here, five here. That brings you just to 25 strength agi on its own. And then, you know, like another five here, for example, right? Is that really hard to get? Yes. If you do get that, that would put you at 30 strength, 30 agi, ignoring your rings, boots, gloves, helmet, and cape. That's all the, and that's still one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of gear you can equip that would give you more stats. So whenever you do get to Biss gear, it's going to be absolutely insane. I'm going to be honest with you. If you were in my stream when the patch dropped, I was kind of tilted because this patch makes no sense. I went over it, and you know what? Here, I actually, I will. I'll, I'll pull it. I'll pull it up, and I'll, I'll go over it right now, and uh, while I'm talking about it. So I went over the patch, like I was talking about it, and the thing is, it doesn't make any sense at all. Is they literally said in the patch we wanted to establish like a weak baseline 
for uh excuse me let me just pull this up really quick let's just go down here boom I'll put this like right here and I can scroll down right you can see it all right so right here in this one this is this right here is the big change right this is the big thing they did honestly nothing else really I mean nothing else really matters as much as this right here the random modifier properties that appear on the color ready items have been reverted to give them much larger value range and let's keep keep this is this right here is the key part much larger value range and larger variety larger variety is fine but much larger value range right they say this and then you scroll down here and you read down here they decided or is it or i think it says right here uh with early access patch number one, we wanted to have a clean baseline to start balancing the numerous weapons, armors, and classes. In order to do this, we needed to flatten and restrict the range of values of many of the parameters in the game. Our plan is to slowly build up with, from this baseline with what we've observed and learned during early access to get a sweet spot that players across a wide range of needs can enjoy the game. Slowly build up. And let me uh, bring you right back, right, right back here much larger value range now it could just be me however slowly building up and then giving things a much larger value range doesn't really go together if you were slowly gonna build it up you would have added small increments to like see how it goes instead of everything rolling plus one everything can roll plus two that's fine go back to plus three However, they just jumped back up. They added back in plus two all, which I don't think is the worst. It's kind of annoying. However, it's not the worst. It's manageable. It's been in the game before, and it wasn't OP. It was, you know, obviously it's one of the best rolls you can get, but it wasn't super OP. Then they added, but, and that's, see, that wasn't even the biggest thing. I was worried they're going to plus three all, but they didn't. So I was like, okay, that's fine. But then they added things like plus four weapon damage on two-handers plus five physical power plus four or plus five magical power and it's just like what so and, and this uh this brings me to my next point this is a uh, where do they say it right here we've also slightly tuned these modifiers talking about the random ones again so like stat rolls on items we've also slightly tuned these modifiers so some of the more desirable stats are even better than before oh okay excuse me if you guys couldn't see it i'm sorry i forgot uh where's that so i'll show you right here right here like but why why would you buff what's already good some of the more desirable stats to so the stats that are already being built the already meta builds are even better than before this is if you play other games this, let's say you play a MOBA right this is the equivalent of having like let's say like you take a mid laner the equivalent of a mid laner having one really strong build or one like a really like strong uh, selection of items and there's a bunch of others that are weak that don't really get built instead of building all like instead of buffing all the weak items or even nerfing the strong items to make it so there's more build variety you buff the build that everybody's already going they are buffing the stats that people were already prioritizing over the other stats and made them even better so now you have to go for those stats now there is absolutely no other stats you can go for like after for example weapon damage you literally have to go for weapon damage on like you have to go for a, a bow with weapon damage because it's plus four damage on like a bow for example or a two-hander that is eight more damage they are gonna do with per shot or per hit or whatever than the like more than you're gonna do if you don't have it and like i said it's like you are already going for those that was already the best stat you could get and they buffed it and keep in mind this whole patch like the whole beginning of this wipe the whole point of them nerfing everything was to increase time to kill so fights lasted longer people didn't get insta killed which they did by lowering damage pretty much globally however they just immediately buffed it all back so it's like like it doesn't make sense it's like they say one thing like literally right here it feels to me like someone it feels to me like someone like this this paragraph here of these being changed and then these two paragraphs here like i feel like two people wrote the like two different people wrote these sets of paragraphs and they had no communication between them because there's no way you say we're giving them a much larger value range but then right here uh, say you're slowly building up from a baseline like you're not 
you just immediately jump back to where you were before. The baseline was too low, so you jumped above where you were before. You, they don't understand a middle ground. This is like everything they've done before. With the uh, the wizard nerf. Whenever they nerfed wizard to 50% way back when, they're like, okay, this is too weak. So they buffed it back to 100%. They never tested out that 75% mid-ground that everyone expected them to and that probably would have been relatively balanced out. They just jumped straight back to where it was before. Like, they refuse to test out a middle ground but bet between what is bad and what is good. I don't understand why. But if they keep doing this, it's going to, like, it, I'm not going to say it's going to kill the game, but they are definitely going to lose players because no one's going to enjoy this. I already know of a lot of people that are like, yeah, like, this is, people are saying this is literally one of the worst patches they have ever done. And I just, I can't understand it. And the thing is, it's not even like, you know, if they were just doing a couple things, it'd be fine. If they were just going to do one or two changes, see how it feels, to see how it makes the game feel, to see how gear part position goes, that's fine. But they do several major changes all at once. And the issue with this is, is whenever you do a bunch of major changes, it's hard to tell what's balanced. For example, last wipe, when plus three all was in the game, it's hard to tell what characters are balanced because plus three all was so just overbearing and so overpowered that it made things even better than they already were so it was hard to tell what was actually good for example bard bard used plus three all incredibly well because they were able to get every single stat and bard used every single stat like well they have strength and agility gives them more damage more attacks more move speed will increases the scaling on some of their uh songs knowledge increased their play speed resourcefulness increased their interaction speed and everything Bard actually used every stat. So because plus 3 all existed, Bards with plus 3 all looked incredibly OP, even if they weren't necessarily as good as, you know, as it looked like they were. And now, see, th like, okay, let's look at, I'm going to look at weapon damage. That's I've been talking about. So before this patch, before Hotfix 14 is what they're calling this, right? Or they're calling this, right? You could only roll weapon damage on weapons. That was all you could roll. And I think it was only like one it was like one weapon damage on one handed and two weapon damage on the big ones. Now, after this, you know, like I said, instead of going for a mid ground, what they did was they added weapon damage back to everything. So now you can roll three on the big pieces, two on the little pieces. So weapon damage is back on everything. And they increase weapon damage to plus four on big uh, I'm assuming it's plus four on big and uh two on small. So they just went from having weapon damage on one thing to literally you just got eight, nine. Actually, no, because it was only one weapon damage. So, yeah, you probably just got 10 times the weapon damage, if not closer to like 15 to 20 times for uh, a one handed because you can roll two to three weapon damage and you can get around 20 to 30 weapon damage in total. So Rangers, Rogues, like any physical damage class effectively just got their damage increased with Biss gear for like 30 to 40 a hit just the like, base and it's just like you look at that and it's just like why like i don't understand it's just like why like why say slowly build up but then you give them much larger value ranges i i, I just i can't i can't understand this like i'm this obviously this video is mostly just me complaining and to be fair i mean that that's really all it is like honestly i don't even care about the rest of this most of the other stuff doesn't matter like, rogues can go back to, like, killing people. Like, squishy's pretty fast. Like, I mean, this doesn't matter because this sucks. Like, it literally doesn't matter at all. None of this stuff matters. It's just, like, bug fixes that fixes Warlock. This, right? So, this is, honestly, this is actually, like, one thing that does matter. Lanterns can now roll, like, stats. So, you can get, like, plus one all lanterns, plus damage, plus move speed. You can get all that for lanterns. It's great. Lanterns can roll stats just like a weapon. So lanterns are definitely still the best for Slayer, and it's also still the best for the build I was talking about, the semi-Slayer build. So this is actually pretty good. And if you get a good lantern with good stats, this actually could go uh, insane. But alright, uh, anyways, back to what I was originally talking about with Fighter. So, uh, it's hard to say where Fighter's going to feel in this patch. I think if you get insane gear, Fighter's going to feel really, really good. But everything else, I think you're just going to feel much worse. And for the majority of people, they're not going to make it to that insane gear level of fighter to feel good. So it's probably just going to feel like shit. Not to mention, 
Barb's even more OP now. Barb was OP before this because I, I talked about it in my last video. Barbarian is about to be so stupidly broken. Like, they're going to push 50-50 strength Agi, 70 PDR, 70 MR, 200 HP. Just absolute monsters. War Malls are about to be hitting you for 200. It's just going to be ridiculous. But anyways, I just kind of want to go over the patch a little bit and uh, complain and talk about the fighter and stuff. Uh, uh, also, uh, something else to mention is this right here. This right here basically makes it so you can you don't even have to go HR to get insane loot. You can go low roller uh, and just farm like these these chests right here, like Lion's Head, Gold, and Marvelous, and Royal Coffins, and farm the uh, mini bosses, and you can get absolutely god tier loot. Like you can do this and get blue and purple items almost every single time, like very very consistently. And so if you're looking to how to get loot now, do these. Just go and farm these special chests and special mobs on like Rogue or something in ruins or goblin caves, and you're gonna get insane loot. But all right, uh, that pretty much sums it up for me. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I, I mentioned it before in another video, but I actually hit it now, which is awesome. And I saw a couple of you commenting saying thank you me for, or obviously they were congratulating for it. And I thank you guys all for that. And I uh, thank you for the support. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.